Chanha la vie à ses tampons, un bateau qui n'a des ailes, un clé qui sous la mer. Chanha la vie à ses tampons. Rosemond Jolisson, R.T. Rosemond, here in our Democracy Now! studio uh, just a few days ago. He's the winner of Haiti's version of American Idol. He beat 34,000 other participants in the competition. Uh, Sharif and I met him in Haiti when we were there two weeks ago. He was getting in a pickup truck, making his way to Cape Haitian and then to the United States. He was with a large family, an extended family, who were trying simply to get out of Port-au-Prince. This is Democracy Democracy Now!, democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman. We're joined in the Firehouse studio here, or rather, our new printing press studios, um, with, by actor and activist Danny Glover. He's the chair of the Trans Africa Forum. Danny's just returned from a trip to South Africa, where he met with ousted President Jean Bertrand Aristide. Welcome to Democracy Now! Thank you very much, Amy. When did you see him? I, I saw. Uh, uh, the president, uh, President Aristide, uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday, last Tuesday, excuse me, uh, just a week ago, uh, I was on a delegation to, uh, to um, on a delegation in South Africa with a number of trade unionists, and we arranged to have a meeting with him, among other meetings that we had there in South Africa. Uh, he and, and his wife, Mildred. Where are they living now? They're, they're in Port uh, excuse me, not, I want to say Port au Prince. They're, they're, that may they're, be where they want they to be. They want to be. They want to be in Port au Prince, but they're in Pretoria right now. Aristide is teaching at the university there, and uh, his wife is working, uh, as a job working. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Um, you have long been active on the issue of Haiti. Mm. What did President Aristide say? Well, the, f the first thing that he certainly thanked those those members of the delegation for their concern about Haiti. I was there with George Gresham, who is the uh, president of uh, 1199, and there are more than 30,000 Haitians uh, in his union, and and they had donated a significant amount of money to the relief effort. He thanked, certainly was thankful for the attention drawn to that. Uh, uh, he was aware of all all the information, all the mishaps, and everything else. But I think his his concern was that 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 he is not there with his people suffering. And going through the suffering, he uh, certainly would, was uh, uh, anxious about that. Of finding some role that he can play, some role that he can play not only in the healing process that needs to be taking place, but also the reconstruction of Haiti as well. Mm. Mm. I wanted to go back for a moment to mm. the news conference that President Aristide um, had. It was two days after the earthquake. He yeah. held this news conference in South Africa, standing with his wife and mm. former First Lady Mildred Aristide. President Aristide said he wants to return mm. to Haiti. Mm -hmm. As we all know, many people remain buried on the tones of rubble and debris waiting to be rescued. When we think of their suffering, we feel deeply and profoundly that we should be there in Haiti with them, trying our best to prevent death. As far as we are concerned, we are ready to live, to dream, to move at any time. To join the people of Haiti, to share in their suffering, help rebuild the country, moving from misery to poverty with dignity. The spirit of Ubuntu that once led Haiti to emerge as the first independent black nation in 1804, help Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador attain liberty, and inspired our forefathers to shed their blood for the United States independence, cannot die. Today, this spirit of solidarity 
invest and will empower all of us to rebuild Haiti. Kukwanda kwa liwa President Aristide in South Africa, right after the earthquake. Mm. Danny Glover, what did he tell you now? Well, Why he, isn't he returning to South to well, Haiti? Well, it quite. He's, he's mystified by that. You know, there's been several calls uh, for him to return. Uh, his party still, the Lavalas is still the largest party that's not participating, that's not active in the electoral process. And yet he's dismayed by that, the fact that both, uh, it seems as if the South African government and the United States implicit is not, it is not returning to the hemisphere. Now, that, that's certainly what, cert is, what is he saying about the South African government? Well, he, he said the South African government, he didn't say this, but I'm saying it seems to be a tacit complicity between to not to have him return in any capacity to the hemisphere. That's been the case all, all along. So he's simply waiting by waiting for some word of the possibility of him returning. Yeah. Is he feeling like the South African government wouldn't let him go back? Well, I think the South African government has been very helpful. He certainly passed on a message uh, through us to President Zuma th to thank him for his support and thank him for the work that he has done and also thank him for the relief efforts uh, that South Africa. But he seems, it seems to be at a stalemate right now uh, as to why he can't return in some capacity. Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be, I think, appropriate for him to be there at this particular moment as the Haitians go through this suffering, but also to be in some capacity work with the uh, the reconstruction of Haiti as well? You know, uh, we know that that at some point there has to be some some unifying force. The, the government has been devastated by this. Uh, the government also only receives a small portion.